Hey guys, it's Linux Benchmarks here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about why the hell do I actually use Linux as my main operating system? As it seems like, um, you know, as Linux is growing and becoming a bigger platform and a bigger, oper bigger operating system, and you know, more software is getting supported and more games are getting supported with Proton, and like even ones that run with like anti cheats are getting supported with Proton. Um, lots of people continue to ask on multiple different social media platforms as like, why would you use Linux? Why can't you just use Windows? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you some reasons why I use Linux as my main operating system. So one of the first things uh, about why I use Linux is, I guess you could say, the freedom of choice. Um, now that means like, basically, being able to choose what you want on your desktop and being able to install, I guess, you know, whatever you want. So with like distros, um, if you don't know what distros are, they're kind of like just um, you know, Linux that's built with different packages and it has a kind of like design philosophy with it as well. So you got distros like Linux Mint, you got Ubuntu, you've got Fedora, you got Arch. Um, and these are all types of different Linux distros that have different packages and repositories and um, a wide variety of people use them as a daily you know, operating system. And that's uh, you know one of the reasons is just, yeah, just freedom of choice, being able to to choose a distro and then being able to you know not even picking a distro you know if you don't you don't even have to choose a distro you could build linux from scratch if you wanted to if you wanted to be that fucking crazy you can do that um i've never done that and i probably never will um because i like how linux is already built for me and i can just you know start you know doing playing games working on videos and stuff like that and like i said before you're allowed to install uh whatever you want so you know you can just you can go on github if you want to and look at different projects that are happening um you know if you want to you can just add different types of repositories on your store and then download them directly from your store so this is discover which is um in kde plasma and you have another one like gnome software which is used on uh you know gnome based distros so like ubuntu um, fedora's vanilla gnome um, all stuff like that you can just grab it directly from here and it's just easy as that i would say another thing that uh people talk about in linux is privacy um, and that's basically meaning that like you don't nothing gets collected uh, from you with your operating system like on windows where um, when you first set it up I, me I remember watching a particular video that showed um, it was a windows 7 versus windows 10 and what it cut what it servers it connected to when you first installed it on a fresh install and on windows 10 it was sending um, telemetry data and all, all types of different data to a particular server that was a website for selling data to companies so your data was getting sold to um, other companies on other you know, websites to then advertise stuff to you based on installing windows 10 which is crazy well on windows 7 or was it windows xp it was somewhere like that an older version of windows it wasn't collecting anything it was just connecting to the service to download windows uh, operating system updates and that was basically it and that's what linux is it's it doesn't send you any telemetry data and the only telemetry data i send is uh telemetry data to kde plasma because i want to support them if i have any issues they automatically get sent to the developers so that they can uh, possibly look at the logs and and apply fixes um yeah just stuff like that it's like you get to you get to choose when you want to send that data so when you first set up like let's say fedora kde plasma um, i'm pretty sure the welcome screen or whatever that comes up for kde it will ask you do you want to send telemetry data to the kde developers and you can pick how much you want to send and i just did everything because i want to support kde plasma um desktop i wanted to improve the other thing is um, different types of package managers. So package uh, managers like Flatpak and even like Snap as well, um, they are containerized. So it basically means that the app can't have access to your system, you know, um, calls basically. Uh, it can only, um, you know, each app is different, but in the majority uh, will be in user mode. So it can't have access to everything on your computer. It can't see everything. And that's what makes, uh, you know, those particular package managers really good for Linux as it, in it increases the privacy of, um, 
your of you of your operating system also um you know you feel like you own your pc again this is a thing that i wrote down is um with windows it doesn't really feel like you own your computer you feel like you're a product when you use windows you don't feel like you actually are using an operating system that is for you to use um back when you know you used like windows 7 or you know, even older than that you just used the desktop as a desktop and you did your work and you you know listen to music you played solitaire that was it but now with windows 10 and windows 11 you're gonna be bombarded by small little things that are adv little advertisements when you search things in your start menu um even i saw a post a couple weeks ago where someone was just playing fucking trying to play starfield and he had a fucking windows advertisement also with how windows updates work they bombard you with windows updates that will also update intrusively whenever they feel like it so you could be playing a game and all of a sudden windows decides it wants to update i don't know if it does that anymore but i remember it, it used to do that plenty of times so it would just do it by itself and it would also leave a very um a little uh, windows icon that was really annoying in the task saying for you to update and it would change to different colors based on how bad you need to uh, update your windows so it was very um very annoying to use uh, Windows with updates. And that's what I like about Linux is when you do an update, you don't need to update. You can do an update. And then so this is one of the things I like about uh, Linux is when you do an update, for example, like in the Discover store and you do the update, you can power down your PC boot it back up and then the updates will be installed you didn't have to actually restart or anything and it didn't force you to do any of that you could just update let it sit there for the whole day turn off your pc turn it back on and then it's installed that's something that windows should definitely implement because it's a really good idea and i don't know why windows doesn't do it but that's one of the strengths of linux when it comes to updating your your computer is just that in general when you do linux updates they are way more easier and less uh, intrusive to you and you can just continue to do your work or whatever you want to do while that update is um sitting there waiting for you um one of the other things i would talk about is probably like open source applications so you know as linux it's open source uh there's FOSS applications and this is a good thing i don't know why some people think that open source means a bad thing it's not it's a really good thing as you get to see everything get made you get to see merge requests you get to see issues get posted you get to see every everything if you go look at nvidia like for example the nvidia proprietary driver on linux you can't go and look at that you can't look at it you can't look at its source code you can't there is open source drivers on nvidia but those are very uh bare bone they don't have everything that the proprietary driver actually has so when it comes to like you know windows updates and i know lots of people don't care about this but i do and it's very much important that when you look up an application you should be allowed to look at what's happening behind those doors you shouldn't just trust that company for trading this application and that's where people get caught with like malware and viruses as they just download random .exes off their browser and expect it to just work and not get malware or viruses on their windows pc um, but this is where you know like where linux is a uh, very good operating system is where you get to see projects um, like your desktop environment like your drivers that you run on your amd card the drivers that you run on your cpu the linux kernel all that compiled you can look you can go and look at all the fucking developers talk about what they want to merge and all the issues and um, what they're solving what they're implementing and it's it's a really um good collective uh effort you could say uh for the linux operating system and also you can contribute so if you want to uh with particular applications that even i'm running right now i could if i wanted to if i could i could start coding and i could contribute to uh bottles which is uh, one uh, great launcher that is also getting a redesign uh, so that's going to be really cool but you can know <laughs> i've got a cracked fucking bottle of course i do um, uh, but you know if you want to you can go easily and just go to the about section you can go to report an issue um and you can go probably to their website you can donate if you want to and yeah if you want to you can just you can help them instantly you don't have to get hired by them 
uh, to actually work on that application, you can just contribute to it if you want to. Now, one of the reasons why I use Linux, and I mean, I do do this sometimes, but I usually like to keep my desktop environment pretty vanilla stock, um, like KDE Plasma. It's on the default um, Breeze theme at the moment, so everything is mostly going to work pretty much fine. But what you can do with multiple different desktop environments is that you can customize it. So you can make whatever the hell you want. You can apply whatever theme you want to it and if you want to you could go even down the path of choosing a just a window manager or a tiling manager like i3 or sway or hyperlane or you know, there's tons of different wms that you can choose from and then start customizing it adding your own fucking uh what's it called like dot files or whatever you can just create whatever the hell you want um and make it your desktop which some people don't care about that some people just want to use their desktop uh, and that's fine on linux you can do that you can just install kde plasma or in gnome um, and, and just instantly just start using your desktop environment just like that but it gives you the option to do that on windows i know i've customized windows before you have to go through different little hoops and it can ultimately just break your um, windows desktop over just like a windows update or a wrong move that could completely break it um well on linux when it comes to like like kde plasma theming that doesn't really happen as kde kde plasma is really open to customizing but of course it can uh break because kde plasma does say that you shouldn't really theme it you should just use the breeze theme but you do have that option to do that is what i'm saying the other thing about uh linux is processes so everything that runs in the background you get to see I mean, you get to see processes run in Windows, but it's just that on Linux, you get to see the correct processes run. If you know what you're looking for, then you can see that everything's running the way it is. When you go look at Windows and you go look at the, what's it called, uh, Task Manager or whatever, um, you look at its processes, you see so many processes that are something that you would never use um, or like... The other day, um, I had Windows installed, and I was just sitting in my bed, looking over at my PC. I had my PC ramp up for no goddamn reason. I wasn't doing anything on it. It was completely idle. And I checked the task manager, and it's a Windows telemetry process that's running. So it was collecting telemetry data without my consent that I never gave to it at all. And this is a paid Windows license, by the way. I paid for Windows like five years ago. I've been using it ever since. Um, and it's just collecting telemetry data for no golden reason. Why? I don't know. But it's just, um, it's really weird that it, it does that uh, while I'm just sitting in bed and I just hear my PC ramp up um, and I look at Task Manager and it's using like 40% of my CPU for no goddamn reason. It's kind of weird. Well, on Linux, um, it doesn't do that. It, all the processes run as they're supposed to run. They don't, a process doesn't spawn randomly that you didn't ask for and starts taking uh, CPU power for no, no goddamn reason. You know, why don't developers support uh, Linux or specifically a Linux desktop? Because people, you know, companies support Linux in terms of like servers and stuff like that because Linux basically runs the world when it comes to servers. Uh, but what about Linux desktop? Why don't developers do that? Well, one of the main reasons is market share. So money, basically. Uh, if we had more users we had more people running Linux um, as a Linux desktop user, um, then it would increase. And that's what, uh, you know, companies like Valve are trying to do with Steam Deck. Uh, Steam Deck does have a desktop mode. It is running Arch Linux. So it is running a Linux desktop distro, basically, on a handheld device. So that does count, does count as a Linux desktop uh, user. And that has definitely increased uh, Linux desktop on the Steam hardware survey. Uh, it's actually beaten macOS, which is really surprising in just under a year which is really fucking crazy that 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 was able to happen in just under a year uh linux desktop was able to beat mac os in gaming just from what steam deck and proton being improved um so i would definitely say that linux is in a good 
a good spot at the moment when it comes to um, just growing as a operating system in the desktop realm. It's definitely um, going to grow really fast in the next, I would say, like five years. It's going to be a desktop, uh, you know, that you could install and use as your main uh, operating system. And of course, there isn't every, not everything is implemented in Linux yet. Of course, there's some, you know, there's some proprietary software that still isn't available in Linux, like Microsoft Suite apps, um, Adobe suite apps but of course you know like for me i switched over to other applications like gimp and Kaden life and my like making videos and stuff like that um but for some other people that's not really an option they really want to stay on that software and that's completely fine um i'm pretty sure like Microsoft is implementing their browser, um, or they already have uh, browser versions of their Microsoft Suite applications, and same goes for Adobe. I'm pretty sure Adobe just released their first uh, Photoshop web browser version as well, so it's coming together slowly, just not really in the way that I would like it when it comes to proprietary software being supported on Linux. I definitely do think companies should um, create applications in Flatpak, as that's definitely the way to go if you want to create an application on Linux without it fucking breaking within a week on an Arch Linux system or like Fedora system. Um, so the next decade of Linux and of course Linux gaming will definitely be a really good um, next decade and I hope that uh, Linux you know really does continue to grow and people see this video and you know if you guys do like this video definitely do give it a like and sub and um, definitely try Linux sometime it's definitely a good operating system that you guys should definitely just at least try and don't put it on a, a VM <laughs> you can try it on a VM but you won't get the full experience definitely put it on a bare metal uh, like a second hard drive if you have and um, test it out so uh, with that I'm gonna end it with this video uh thank you guys for watching as i said before you guys can like sub uh, comment if i said anything wrong or any other uh, you know suggestions that you like about linux uh you know just tell me why you enjoy using linux uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace